Hi, I'm Justin from NEAT. If you do any type of video calling or video conferencing in the course of your work, listen up because I want to talk to you about one of NEAT's best and most powerful video conferencing products that is also one of our most affordable products, NEAT Bar. So what is NeatBar? NeatBar is a all-in-one device that, can, that contains everything you need to do professional quality video conferencing, just like Fortune 500 companies do, but at an extremely affordable price point. Not only is it very easy to use and contains a lot of AI-driven both video and audio capabilities, but it's, you can connect it to any standard laptop and use it with any video conferencing platform you might, want, you might choose to do your business, whether that's Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, FaceTime if you're a Mac user, anything that you would use a standard webcam for, you can use with Neat Bar, but get the benefits of all of that enterprise class functionality to present yourself in the best and most professional light. So stay with me and I'll tell you everything that Neat Bar can do. All right, so I'm in the little huddle conference room in my co-working space here, and I've got the neat bar out of the box and mounted on this very standard off-the-shelf 50-inch flat panel TV. So it's super easy to do. All the guides are on our support site, support.neat.no, and you can go there and see all the how-to guides on how to mount the device. There's a few different mounting options, and the good news is, is all of the parts you need for the different mounting options are right in the box along with the bar itself. So now that I've got this mounted and plugged in, let's go sit down on my laptop and I'll show you how to get this configured. Okay, so I've gone to setup.neat.no in my browser and you can see my laptop screen here. And what I wanna do is just go to my web setup screen and hit get started. And a little prompt will pop up. It'll say setup.neat.no wants to connect to something and it's the neat bar, which is marked paired. So I'm gonna select that and hit connect. Then what you'll see pop up here is the serial number of the neat bar. And if you look on the TV screen, you'll see at the lower right that the serial number of that neat bar is displayed and it should match the serial number on my laptop screen, which it does. So that all checks out. So I'm gonna hit connect. So now that I'm connected, I'm essentially remote controlling the neat bar from my laptop. And the first thing it wants me to do is verify that I have an internet connection. Now you can see right here, it says ethernet and under that, under cable connected, it says internet connected. So I'm good to go because I'm using a hardwired ethernet connection for neat bar. However, you can also use Wi-Fi. You can click on Wi-Fi. All of your available um, Wi-Fi networks will pop up. You can choose one, put in the password for that Wi-Fi, etc. But I don't need to do that because I have already connected via Ethernet. So I'm just going to hit continue. Now, Neat Pulse. So the next step is that we need to register our Neat Bar to Neat Pulse. Neat Pulse is Neat's online um, cloud-based management platform that allows you to manage all of our devices. So you can register them to Neat Pulse uh, and you can you know, see what they're doing, manage all of their settings remotely, remote control the devices, all kinds of things. Now the great news about this is that yes, you do have to sign up for it and get an account, but it is free. You do not need to um, to create, to pay for something else with Neat Pulse. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to click on sign up. Now what happens here is that you're going to come to the Neat Pulse home screen. Now you can sign in if you already have an account or you can sign up. So I'm going to click on sign up right here. And basically you can use your Google account, you can use a Microsoft account, or you can use a work email. And the Google and Microsoft accounts, those can be personal accounts, they can be business accounts from your work, and of course your work email can be your work email address itself, no problem. Now, I work at Neat, I already have a Pulse account, so I'm just gonna hit sign in instead. So I'm gonna pop over there, and I'm going to use my Microsoft account to sign in. So I'm just gonna click on that, and then I'm going to click on the account that I want to use, which is my work account, and it will bring me right into Neat Pulse. Okay, so now I'm in my Pulse account, 
and all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit add devices right here. And what I want to do is I want to just make up a name for this device. So this is my co-working huddle space is the name of this room. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to add a location. And this, is, this room's in Chicago, so USA Chicago. And all I have to do is hit continue. Now I could add more devices if I wanted to. Once you become a more advanced Pulse user, a lot of this will make sense. But to get started, all you have to do is make up a name for the room and uh, put in a location. If you don't have a location created yet, uh, you can just unassign it to a location. So I'm going to hit continue. Now what happens is, is I get my co-working huddle space co uh, enrollment code right here. So all I have to do is just copy this guy to my clipboard like that. Go back to my, uh, my, my sign-in screen on my bar paste that in there and hit continue. So now what you're gonna see is that the device is enrolling to Pulse and that'll just take a few minutes. Now again, Pulse is free. You can sign up for an account, you can use its basic settings for free. There's also a couple paid Pulse plans which you can find on our website, which is neat.no, which gives you more advanced features. It also gives you um, uh, access to more advanced technical support if you need it. Those are available to you. You know, please check them out and, and, uh, and see what more you can get. All right, and there we go. It's signed up and you know it is because the next thing you see is an image of yourself. So this gives you an idea of how the room looks on camera. There's you on my, uh, on my camera where I'm filming this video. Um, and on the screen here, you see that you can, it'll actually, it actually shows you how you can um, adjust the angle of the camera. So if you want to um, adjust the framing, what you're seeing from the camera, you can do that. This is on the tabletop mount, but the same exact principle applies to the monitor mount, which is the one we used. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and we hear our happy noise and we are all set. So the neat logo pops up and now it's ready to use. It's ready to uh, connect your laptop and we'll talk about that right now and how your users can start making calls. All right, I'm in my little huddle conference room. I have my neat bar set up and configured. Now I wanna just show you how easy it is to use it, right? So I've come in my room, I've got a laptop, that's all I need, and I have to join a Zoom call. Again, Zoom is just what I'm gonna use for this demonstration, but you can use any calling platform that you use on a laptop, whether that's Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, FaceTime, whatever you're using, it'll work. So the only thing I have to worry about is connecting my laptop to the Neat Bar. And I've got two connections. I have an HDMI connection and I have a USB-C connection. And both of these cables run to the neat bar. Now, I'm an old school PC guy. I have an a, a HDMI and a uh, USB connection on my laptop, but a lot of people don't have that. So what I recommend doing is getting one of these off-the-shelf USB-C hubs. They're widely available, they're not expensive, and they give you both an HDMI connection and USB connection, so that way I can just plug one cable into my laptop. That's probably going to be universally easier for most of your users, um, so I recommend that. If you're using it at a home office, they also make uh, desktop monitors that have a USB-C hub built right into them, so you can use that as well. A lot of different options, very affordable, but again, I'm old school, so I'm just going to plug these guys directly into my laptop. Now what you're going to see is you're going to see my desktop, my desktop pop up on the screen just like any other, you know, secondary desktop monitor. So nothing complicated there. Probably you're used to that at your home office. But now here's where the cool part starts. So I've got my Zoom client up here and I'm going to go ahead and start a new meeting. And what you're going to see in my preview window is going to pop up and hey, I'm using the Neat Bar camera for my video. And actually, I can see right here I'm using the Neat Bar camera and I'm also using the Neat Bar built-in microphone. So that's how I know that I've connected and I'm ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start and I'm going to go full screen. And now if I'm in a Zoom call, the people on the far end, they're gonna be nice and big. I'm gonna be able to see them clearly. If I have colleagues in the room with me, they're gonna be able to see them as well. And the people on the far end are both going to be able to see us and hear us very clearly because I'm going to be using the voice isolation and noise reduction that I get 
in the five microphones that are in that meat bar. I'm going to hear the people on the far end loud and clear in the speakers of that meat bar. And the people are also going to see me no matter where I go. So if I stand up and start moving around, that camera is going to follow me and auto track me so that no matter where I go, I don't have to worry about the camera not framing me properly or the people on the far end not being able to see me. So if I like to pace because, you know, I'm, I'm brainstorming the next big idea or whatever it is, or maybe I have someone else in the room with me and they're sitting off to the side, the camera is going to auto frame them and that wide angle camera is going to make sure that they're going to be able to be seen as well, even though they're sort of at a more steep angle like this. And if there were two or three of us in the room, we'd be each individually framed and basically be shown in close up to the folks on the far end. So we, I, we don't have to zoom the camera out and make us really tiny on their screen. They're going to see us nice and clearly, um, well framed and close up, just like as if they were sitting at the table with us. So I hope that shows you a couple of things. One, how easy this is to use, how easy it is to set up, but also the power you're going to get to always make sure that you're presenting you and your colleagues as professionally as possible to the folks that you're talking to in those video calls because it's important for business we all live in video calls today and it's and we want to make that absolutely accessible that enterprise quality for small business owners independent contractors freelancers anybody who wants to look good on a video call and make sure they're showing their best so i'm justin Thank you for spending some time with me today to learn about NeatBar. Go to our website, which is neat.no, that's N-E-A-T dot N-O, and learn about all of our products, get all the technical information you need, and I hope that you try a NeatBar uh, to transform your business. Thanks.